Let's move on now to Spider-Man, which, yes. uh, by the way, just passed Avatar to become the third highest grossing mo- domestic movie of all time. Scotty, how many times did you see it in the theater? Have you even seen it? I have. I went <laughs> I went one time. I went yeah, one yeah. time. Yeah, I wanted to go. I still want to go again. I think it's going to be around for a little while. <laughs> I've always I've only seen it the one time too because mm-hmm. we you know we live in the in a pandemic world and and Steve I saw it with you and like a few days after we saw it uh, Ontario was shut down they like shut right they down shut right? us right down so even if you want you to see are going it, through it man yeah, but the tickets got... tickets are still selling I've been looking at the theater here in town and mm-hmm. well, there's tickets every day that are better better sold you know I'm looking at like Matrix Res- the new Matrix movie and there's like nobody going to that so it's still making money. It's, it might yep. be slowly coming in, but it's still still taking in numbers at the box office, so it could get bigger. Sure. Who knows? I don't think yeah, it comes I, out on, uh, on Blu-ray and uh, and, and home release till April twelfth, I think. So I looked still at it on. Yeah, I looked at the Steelbook is all sold out on Best Buy Canada. Uh, I don't know how it is where you are, Scotty. They probably they probably make more of those things, but the digital copy doesn't have a release date yet, so mm-hmm. I don't know when it's going to be coming out on digital mm-hmm. at all. But Speaking of the release on Blu-ray, on digital, on all the fun stuff, there's going to be a hundred minutes oh. of bonus features. So I'm going to run down a little bit, and then we'll talk about them a little bit. Um, mostly the, the deleted scenes are an, an interrogation scene, an extended version of that. Peter Day at Midtown High. <laughs> that sounds like it might be fun. <laughs> Undercroft montage. Happy's very good lawyer. The Spideys hang out. Everybody wants to see more of the Spideys hang out. Why they would get rid of it, we're going to find out. And, of course, there's all these fun featurettes right here that you guys can check out. I'll leave this on here. We don't need to go through it. But, of course, dude, an extras how, trailer and a blooper and gag reel is always a fun one. Yeah. The uh, How they shot the scene where Peter tricks him with geometry and they're going through all of the different portals. I'm excited to see that. I think that's what that action choreography action. across the multiverse is. It would hopefully, yeah. Um, there's gonna be a lot alternate reality Easter eggs is a curious one. Mm-hmm. Also, yeah, why they want to uh, give it all away? <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Who knows, Steve? You you're gonna be picking this up, and if so, are you gonna watch all 100 minutes of bonus features? I'll eventually get there. Um, first thing I do is I'll hit I'll hit the deleted scenes. That's the most important part. Yes. Papers. Which one? Which one <laughs> sticks out to you? Um, Happy's very good lawyer. Happy's very good lawyer. That one I'm pumped for. Uh, I read a lot of talk. Everybody think it was going to be Matt Murdock, but I don't think it is because it wasn't it Matt Murdock that said you're going to need a very good lawyer. So yes. uh, I have my Ooh. I have my theories and they're totally out there. But if they're bringing in the Daredevil universe, what about um, Hogarth? Um, you know, she was portrayed uh, well. I know it's a male in the comics and uh, in, in uh, the Daredevil universe, it was um, a female. But she's the high end lawyer that uh, could be, and she, he, uh, Matt Murdock knows her, so that could be a way to go. But I was thinking, just to tie things in even more, could it be She uh, Hulk before her before she becomes She Hulk? Could it be uh, Jennifer Walters, played by um, Tatiana Mesley? I, I can't pronounce it, Mesley, Mesley. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, maybe that, that could be a fun, little, another fun little uh, cameo. And they just thought, eh, maybe it's too much. Let's not have it in, but we'll throw it in with the scenes for, for the fans. Dude, um, and if you think of the way that Happy Hogan interacts with Aunt May, that could make for some hilarity with him and the She Hulk character and how she changes her form. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, yeah. um, here, I, that's actually a really cool thought. I just, I don't know. Eh, how if they would delete that now now i'm really really excited to see how that one will play out steve because that never crossed my mind either neither one of those crossed my mind but the she hulk one is i'm the most curious for because that's happened like it's she hulk is it's on its way i don't know when we're getting that show or whatever but it's that show is coming in like a freight train so yeah good call on that one scotty anything that sticks out to you um no, I mean this is a lot. I wouldn't yeah. even, I wouldn't even know where to start, but I'd probably go right to the bloopers, honestly. <laughs> because the Disney. interactions with like Toby and all those guys, a lot of that stuff could have been improv, like you never know. What do you guys think of Peter Day at Midtown High? What's Peter Day? Is half the school divided and they support him and they you know they think it's oh, cool yeah. but, you know 
that could be a, that could be a source of uh, some good conflict there. I'm looking forward to it because I love the teachers, and I feel like this. Like they, <laughs> I don't know. I could be way out there. I'm not going to be disappointed. It's a deleted scene, so whatever. But it, like, if this was like them going a step further from that shrine that they built and having a whole day dedicated to Peter Parker. I don't know. The teachers make me laugh. It's going to be sad, you know, when they make the next uh, Star Wars movie, Star Wars, Spider-Man. Dude, and the one guy, the out. whole, the one guy, the whole time was like, no, no, no. Yeah. No, no, it, no. Mysterio is <laughs> right. You shouldn't be break. here. <laughs> That's Goes ahead, Disney does in the chat, chat, and she says that she thinks Matt Murdock is supposed to be in She Hulk, and I think that rumor is oh. actually true. I yeah, think Murdock is supposed to. So Steve Moore uh, leading into. I guess we'll find out in April, May, June, whenever this DVD <laughs> releases. I don't know. I actually, I was going to. So I don't buy physical media anymore because I'm. I have no room. Look at behind me. Look at this mess. So, but but um, I have, although I have records, but <laughs> but I thought about getting the steel book for Spider Man No Way Home. And I went on and it was uh, sold out. Although they only make like seven steel books. They're really hard to get. Um, yeah, well, they don't make that. They make more than that, but they don't make it. They don't make it. Like yeah, they don't. But um, I'm excited to watch this movie again. I really enjoyed it the first time. Um, but again, it was only one time. I don't, I haven't seen it since. Since seeing it, I have seen Amazing Spider Man three times and Amazing Spider Man one once and Spider Man two twice. Those are the prequels. Those are prequels to this movie. Yes. That's what, it's great. Right. Spoiler. Uh, <laughs> there's also the Daily Bugle stuff right here. I'm I'm wondering if those are going to be news report, reports from J. Jonah Jameson that they just like 30 seconds like, I'm J. Jonah Jameson. This might have been there. Oh, J. Jonah Jameson. Yeah. Kill Peter Parker. Like if it's that I stuff that so. we see. But yeah, that's what. Uh, those are always fun too to get uh, on it. Dude, like the um, Talladega Nights commercials that they didn't use. Yes. Dude, that could be good. These could be good. Those are fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't I'm wondering what this extras trailer is. I don't even I don't know. Um yeah. fight I think stunt scene uh previs apartment that's gonna be fun to see stuff previs. There's panels too. A, uh where's the oh, meeting of the Spider Man's and um Yeah, yeah you know what that's probably an, spiders. probably an interview with the three of them sitting down talking. Mm-hmm. Also, we should have said if you haven't seen this movie, this is a huge spoiler. We should, <laughs> we should have talked about that early on. Guess what? Everyone's in this movie. It is a great time. Uh, to, it's a great time to be a Spider-Man fan. I'm really excited to watch this again. And and this opened up the multiverse in, in a way that I, I mean, it wasn't how I thought it was going to go. But uh, before we get on to our next one, Scotty, how much did you like this movie? Were you, are you looking forward to seeing the Spider-Man return and, and more stuff? Or are you like, we're good. We're good. We've had them. We've had them. Let's move on. No, I am super hyped. And I think that Sony and Marvel working together on this is the smartest thing they could have done because Spider-Man literally has his own multiverse to deal with. Like there are so many Spider-Men, so many villains, so many things out there. And I'm full send on all of it. I hope that they continue to weave this web of continuity together all the way through to the Madam Web stuff and all the way through to like, you know, I don't even know what they're doing on the Marvel side of this stuff. Secret Wars. You're going to have the Spider-Verse. You're going to have the X-Men, Sony, all that verse. And then you're also going to have Avengers. And then that all that stuff has to come to a head. It's gonna be crazy. <laughs> Which is more confusing, DC or the Sony verse? We're gonna we're gonna find yeah, exactly. out too. <laughs> <laughs> no question, DC. Although, uh, but it looks like Morbius takes place in the PlayStation version of Spider-Man. But also, the <laughs> we're gonna find out. But anyway, let's move on. <laughs> 